Oh, hey there. I'm glad you made it. My name's Marino. I'm from Buckeye. You guys just recently started using our eco chemicals, and uh, we wanted to share a couple of things about them to help you guys use them properly. You're probably wondering to yourself, why do I have to watch this? I'm a firefighter, I'm not a janitor. That's precisely my point. We want to make sure that you guys are using this stuff properly and safely. Are you ready? These are your new hand soap and sanitizer dispensers. I'm going to show you very quickly how to open them up and replace the bags inside. In order to load your new dispensers, press down on the top of the faceplate. Remove the bag of sanitizer or soap from the box and seat it gently inside of the dispenser. Before uh, operating it, remove the red tab and close it slowly. Give a few priming pumps to make sure everything is working right and you're good to go. This bad boy is your new eco dilution control system. We've already set up a system to have five different chemicals, each of which is labeled, four of which for spray bottle applications and two for mop-up bucket applications. In order to fill up a spray bottle, simply put the bottle up over the hose and press back. It's not unlike a soda fountain at McDonald's. Big fan. And in order to fill up a mop bucket, take your hose and click the button. While the bucket is clicked, the diluted chemical will continuously flow. In order to stop the flow, just click it again, like the top of a ballpoint pen. If you just need clean water, push the blue button in the middle. Exact same thing. In order to load new chemical into the system, press down on the top of the faceplate. Find the, correspond the hose with the corresponding number to the spigot beneath and get the appropriate chemical. We're using E23. Place it with the dilution tip down in the bucket and put the cap on at a 10 o'clock position. Turn until it's at 12 o'clock and you'll feel it click. That's how you know it's in place. In order to make sure that everything is working properly, click the button or press the appropriate nozzle and let the water flow to see if the chemical moves through the hose. If it does, all is well. And then you can slowly close the bucket, making sure not to pinch the bag, and you're all set. Now we're going to go over the applications for the various eco chemicals that we have stocked for you, starting with E12, our heavy duty glass cleaner. As the name would imply, it's safe to use on glass surfaces, including windows, mirrors, windshields, or anywhere where that would apply. It does a whole lot more work than your household Windex or something similar. So where you might spritz it one or three times, a single spritz is gonna be all you need. Next up is E17, our tub tile and bolt cleaner. This is an acid cleaner that, as the name would imply, works best on your bathtub, toilet bowls, and bathroom tile. It can even be used on metal surfaces to remove water scaling. Simply spray on, let it sit for four minutes, brush it with a bristle brush or a Brillo pad, and then give it a good rinse. E23 is one of our more diverse chemicals. As a neutral disinfectant, it's safe to use on any surface and can be used in both the mop bucket and the spray bottle. For either application, in order to garner the disinfecting effect, just let the liquid sit for 10 minutes before wiping it away. In the spray bottle, you can use this to spray down contact surfaces like kitchen tables, desktops, doorknobs, handrails, and in the mop bucket, it's awesome for using in the floors of the bathroom or the locker room or any shared space. Just simply mop it down, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then mop it back up. E31 is an absolutely fabulous floor cleaner. It's safe to use on any type of floor, be it wood, vinyl, tile, or what have you. Simply mop it down, mop it back up, and enjoy a clean smell and a clean floor. E41 is your air freshener. Simply spray it in the air and it will encapsulate odors and replace them with a nice, fresh laundry scent. Avoid spraying it directly onto people 
or their belongings. No matter how badly Jeremy's socks smell, it's very rude to spray it on his belongings without his permission. In order to use the ecosystem safely, we just ask that you don't tamper with the bags of concentrated liquid that we provide with it. Do not attempt to alter the concentration of the solutions coming out of the machine. It handles everything on its own. Just have faith in it. And do not try to use the chemicals outside of any applications that we've recommended. If you can do all those things right, you're going to be a cleaning machine. I know it may look like a lot of tubing, but Buckeye Auto Wash is one of our simplest chemicals to use. Simply take your hose, put it in your bucket, and turn on your water source. The chemical will flow through the tubing here and dilute out properly into your bucket and be ready for use. We really appreciate you guys sticking with us and watching the video to get up to date on all your latest new school stuff. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to me, Marino Carrito, or Ryan Abarno. We would love to help you out. Goodbye.